What you do with your life? Get your education, boy. Subscribe to A's Online. Welcome to A's Online Future Classroom. And we are here to help you prepare for upcoming CSEC exams, Mathematics 2021. My name is Andre, I'll be your tutor. We're bringing this to help you get your education on behalf of Ease Online Tutoring Services, exam success at your fingertips. So today we're going to look at some construction of some angles and some lines. So we're in the virtual classroom here. We're going to draw a 90 degree angle using only a ruler, compass, and pencil. So we're going to go to the construction. Just give me one second, let me pull it up. So we're going to go to the construction and see how we have to approach this question starting from the very um, beginning. So you first will have to start with a baseline. So let's let's get into it and see what's happening here, right? So here we could see we're going to draw a 90 degree angle using a 9 centimeter baseline. Now we're not going to use any protractor to draw this, this angle. All we're going to use is a ruler, a compass, and a pencil. To draw a baseline, I'm going to use this tool which is the double pointed tool that you would find in a geometry set normally and to draw the nine centimeter line I'll open that out tip to tip on the ruler at nine centimeters and once that is done you're going to use the pointy parts of the tool to make marks on your page press down hard so you can get a nice indent in the page and then what you will do is you will just take your pencil and your compass nine centimeters and you're going to make a little arc for the nine centimeter line and then we're going to do the same thing on the opposite side make an arc for your nine centimeter line perfect then what we'll do is we we'll take back our ruler and connect those two dots so you would have two dots on your page and you're going to just use your ruler now to connect it um the while you're connecting it or when you connect it you can use your ruler to measure to be sure that it is nine centimeters long draw your line Make sure it's straight. Yes, measure it up nice. Nine centimeters. And here we have just darkening the two points at the end. There we have our nine centimeter line. Perfectly straight. Now we're going to cut, cut that line and bisect it coming down the center. Straight, giving you a perpendicular angle to that nine centimeter line. And we're only going to use compass and ruler. So what you have to do is open up your compass to more than half of your line. It could be any distance, any width, once it is more than half. Put your tip at the end of the line. Make sure it's more than half of the line. And you're going to leave your compass that same link, length, width, and make a line on top, a curve on top. And a curve below and then on the other side you're going to do the same thing make a curve on top and a curve below and notice i did not change the width of my compass you have to keep it the same width on both sides just make sure you have your um, two lines meeting perfectly so i just kind of lengthen one of the lines there so you could meet and then what you'll do is you'll see me carefully take those two X's and line them up using my T square here. You could use any ruler, um, honestly. 
and you really do have to take your time because if you're off that line by just a little bit you will get an angle that's like 89 88 or 91 92 you want to get a perpendicular line of 90 degrees so it has to be perfectly straight so you're gonna see me here taking my time edging 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 trying to get center on the x on top and below and every time you do one side you double check the other side to make sure you didn't adjust the ruler or shift it off or anything like that so get it straight lined up perfectly straight and when you are confident that you have it lined up you can come and draw your line to give you a 90 degree come straight down to line up make sure it's straight and the examiner needs to see certain construction lines so i'm going to show you those construction lines and this is our 90 degree angle so we can see the two x well two x's on the paper there's one on top and one on the bottom and then we can see the two construction lines for the edges of the length of the line as well and yeah there we have our perpendicular 90 degree angle by bisecting a nine centimeter line to bisect means just to cut it in two and that's our final product full marks you're gonna just measure it up make sure you could afterwards you can use your protractor to make sure you have it perfectly straight and as you can see it's coming straight through the 90 up over the ruler and you can you can can't even see the lines because it's covered by the marks on the ruler and that's it that's our 90 degree angle we drew a nine centimeter line and then we cut it in half by opening your compass to a little more than half or more than half of the length of the line you're trying to bisect and then you draw your curve on top your curve below and then you go on the other side your curve on top your curve below you could run the video again um carry it back to the beginning and try it we're not using the protractor to draw this eventually once you master this you should be able to go and do that four times well uh, three times going straight around to get a square or a rectangle drawing your quadrilaterals with 90 degree angles all right so that's it for today that's our construction of 90 degree line so be sure to continue to come back to our channel get your education as you prepare for your upcoming exams we know it's been a tough year so we're bringing all of this content to ensure that as many students as possible are fully prepared for upcoming exams so thanks again for joining me my name is andre here bringing you live at A's online virtual classroom i will see you with another construction another time Do with your life. Get your education, boy. Subscribe to A's online.